Today we're going to build a bridge simply by drawing simple lines between either side of this gorge to complete this road. And we're going to use a real-time physics engine to see the results of the deflected bridge shape. And you can also try this at home yourself by downloading the script at our site. So here we've got a scenario where there's a big deep gorge right in the way of a new road that wants to pass through. And in a minute I'll explain how you can download this scenario and try it for yourself. So obviously we want to build a bridge between these points here which I've got marked in red with these little red posts. Also we've got some loading which is going to be applied to those to this bridge and that's shown in the arrows so you can see how much load you've got to deal with downwards and across which represents a little bit of wind coming down the valley so the simplest form of bridge of all would be for me to just join up these points and then make that into a bridge now you can see it's not the best bridge in the world because it's deflecting a lot so the client isn't too happy with that result and he's going to pay us $547. That's effectively the score for that bridge. So what would give us a better score? Mostly the score is influenced by how stiff the bridge is. So we really want a bridge that doesn't deflect nearly as much as that. We want to keep it as straight as possible when there's this load happening right in the middle. So maybe this is pretty simple. Maybe if we just put uh, a simple triangle in, we will make it stiffer because this lower member will go into tension and these upper members will go into a bit of compression but overall the stiffness is improved so I'm just going to copy this triangle over to the other side as well and how about we set this up as an alternative I'll just select those lines Alright, so that's not better because the fact that there's a wind load has made it push over. So it's not very stiff in the axial direction or the, the uh, alignment of the road. So this is a physics simulation so it's effectively buckled these two members. So what can we do to fix that? Well, I'm just going to try joining the top part and the bottom part together so that we create a little box and hopefully that'll stop that rotation sideways or the buckling of those truss members. Okay, and you can see that is a bit better. So we've got a score of $31,834 now which was better if I go back to the old bridge we only got 547 so the client is happier with that it's a lot stiffer cars have less chance of falling off although still quite a big <laughs> chance of falling off so he's willing to pay a little bit more money 
Now another factor that goes into this score is how much material you use. So not only have you got to get a stiff bridge, a stiff safe bridge, but you've got to use the least material or the least structural members as possible. And there's just one other rule and that is that cars need to obviously use this bridge to get across the gorge. So that's what this white box is. If you're a car, it's about 2.2 metres high and you need your lane width. So you shouldn't have any members crossing into this white box. For example, if I put something like that, which would make my bridge really stiff, you can't get a car through. So that's one thing that's not allowed. No sections inside this white box. And here's one final bridge idea that I had a go at. And I'm trying to make it as stiff as possible, so I thought maybe I can do a type of a veer and deal truss and it is stiffer. It's not very uh, flexible due to wind and it's pretty stiff vertically as well. You can see that in the other directions. And we've got a higher score. So most of the score comes from the stiffness of the bridge. So to get the script and try it for yourself, just go to www.structuredparametrics.com, go to the tutorial section, and then underneath all our tutorials and the script downloads, you can get, see the bridge challenge section, the current winning design, who it was by. And if you click try the bridge, bridge challenge, and go to a separate page, explains a bit about how it works, and you just click this image to download the uh, script. And then underneath, if you want to submit your design, you, there's a little form there to do that. Uh, it's up to you. Once you've downloaded, you just double click the Grasshopper script, it should open up Rhino, and you should see something similar to this. And if I just minimize it, it should show the scene all ready to go. A good way to start is to right click this and say um, bake, and then just put it onto one of the layers. Then you've got your points, and you can simply draw lines between the points. Once you've got your lines selected in Rhino, you just say set multiple curves and that's all you need. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.